Bye. Love you. Have a great time. Bye. We love you. Bye. We love you. Bye, we love you. Oh, did you hear that? Bye, we love you. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Dad, I love you. Love you, buddy. Bye. Even Lionel, even Bob. Love you all. Love you, Dad. Have a good day. See ya. It's going to be fun being here by yourself. I know. I think I want to do that one of these days. See ya. I'm out here in a beautiful bamboo patch, perfect for cutting bamboo. It is enormous. It's right by the highway. I think it's on a pipeline right away or something. And I'm cutting bamboo for trellising our tomatoes. I just cut these two though and realized they're new growth, growth from this year. And guys, this is just the wonder of bamboo. This piece of bamboo it's almost 30 feet long, grew this year. And the way you can tell is because the shoots on the side, the leaves on the side are just still coming out. Not like these mature leaves here. And the other thing is that it's very soft. So you can see, I can just crush this section with my hand. And what happens if you get um, immature bamboo and use it for any building project is it, it's not hardened yet and it will dry out and uh, just fall apart on you. These two over here are good though. I mean, you would have to be like the strongest person in the world to crush one of these. Insanely strong material for its weight. I was just deep in this thicket so I couldn't even see the top of it. So I need to find a spot where I can see them before I cut them. This saw is a beast and it's not very nice to fingers. Way to go, Arthur. Safety first. These poles are so long, a couple of them, we will not even need to uh, use two across the top. We can run them down the whole bed. So I better get to work though. I've got um, seven more I need to cut. This bamboo patch is actually bigger than I thought. It's about 100 feet wide here, but the further you go down, it's about 100 yards long. It gets even wider and wider and wider. It is huge. We can actually cross this old railroad bridge if we can get up to it. It's a pretty sketchy load, but it's, it's on. Fortunately, not far to go home. Guys, you can build anything with bamboo. I've used it for so many things and I'm gonna take a minute, actually about 10 minutes to show you what you can build with three pieces of bamboo that will blow your mind. Just imagine if you spent a whole day cutting it and then built something cool like a tree house or a tower. All right, 
Let's do this. Okay, so what we built here is almost a 20 foot tall tripod. And you might think that's not very interesting, but you could actually build something like this and put a swing from it. I'd like to do it. If I have enough poles, I'll do it. But I don't think I have enough. Seems kind of rickety though, doesn't it? I mean, this thing is enormous. We built things like this at our wedding and we hung lights all around all the tables. It was really beautiful. Big question is, I just told you you can build anything out of bamboo. Can it hold me? I don't know. Let's find out. Actually, we're not going to find out because um, I put the lashing too high. If I put it about 10 feet lower, I could climb it and sit on it. but. You know what? I have garden work to do, so we'll move on. But anyway, an idea for your idea bank, for an event, or just for fun for the kids. Or hey, you could grow beans on that. That'd be cool. Bean teepee. I still think it's pretty cool because it's so tall. I have these three top rails laid out. Next, I'm gonna put points on all the ends of these and then cut them into eight foot sections from their tip and then we'll cut more eight foot sections and put points on them. Actually there's an easy way to do that. We just cut across at an angle and we have points on both ends. I'll show you. Okay, my frames are up and I think they look pretty good. They're way taller than last year. So this year, if we want to, we can grow our almost eight foot tomato plants. I think I cut these poles almost nine feet. I was just eyeballing it because that is close to eight feet there. My reaches and um, yeah, that's where they're at. These kind of make me wish we grew pole beans instead of bush beans, just because it would be fun to have beans growing up eight feet tall and a little easier on your back to pick. As you can see, I leaned in the ends and the second to ends, I leaned them together and on that end too, to provide some lateral stability this way. Because that was the weak point of our structure we built last year for our tomatoes, which overall worked great. The two weaknesses from last year's setup for stability in this direction and I used that first year bamboo and it was just cracking and breaking by the end of the season but all this hopefully we've corrected those problems this year the next thing we're doing is tying strings down from the top rung down to every single plant long enough to just reach the ground or just short of the ground Okay, we got our strings up. I'm gonna show you the secret sauce. It's, it's not actually sauce, it's these clips. I'll show you how they work. I don't have a ton of time, so I'm just gonna do the ones that are on the ground because the family's about to get back. These clips, 
grab the string, in their little claws, and wrap around the plant at the same time. And they hold the string tight and they hold the plant loosely, just like that. And they make this, you could do this, you could do this with just string. If you could tie a knot that would hold on to the vertical string, but the clips make it really fast and easy. I hate that some of these plants are already on the ground. That's a big goal of mine every year to try to keep all the tomato plants from falling down and get them tied up in time. But I just didn't get there this year. When they lay on the ground, they are more susceptible to getting blight and it's no good, no good at all. And we already have enough issues with blight here because it rains so much. So plants on the ground in this area means just destroying blight. Okay, I got all the big floppy ones done. There's little ones that are still upright that are not done and it was just in time because family's home and I'm gonna go help out with the kids and unloading. Bedtime is coming soon. So it'll be a busy next little bit. How are you? I am exhausted. Really? But guess who isn't? Did all, you just wake up? All the children that just woke up. <laughs> At seven o'clock at night. Oh man. Trouble. Oh, what a cute yawn. Guys, thanks for joining us. It's been another great day on the homestead and we'll see you again real soon. Goodbye.